All right, the next step in the process is to install the CD-ROM drive. We're going to use the very top bay of our case here for that. So we're going to need to do some work to the case to get that prepared. The first thing we need to do is take this grill out. And to do that, there's some screws on the side that we'll need to undo. And that'll just pop right off. There's one right up here on the top. And then we'll flip it around. There's one more on the other side. Right up top here. After you do that, this top piece, if you put your hand inside the case and just push it out, it should pop right out. Nice and easy. And then we're going to take our CD-ROM drive. Very basic CD-ROM. We're going to push it in from the front. It should slide back until it's flush with the other components of the front of the case. You want to make sure you get that flush, otherwise it'll kind of hang out or be too far back. So make sure that's flush, and then we're going to secure it in on the side with some screws so that it doesn't move. I'm just going to take the same screws we've been using and we're going to find the mounting holes and secure it into place. Looks like we got one up front here. Do that one first. Do this back one. Now if you have a different case than this, you'll just want to make sure you follow whatever instructions you have for mounting your CD-ROM drive in your case. Um, some systems don't have screws, they have quick install capabilities and it'll actually work a little bit different, so you'll want to pay attention to your instruction manual for that. We're going to have two more screws on this side to lock in. Oops. We'll grab that one we dropped. And that's it. We got our CD ROM drive mounted and installed. It's not very hard, it's pretty quick and easy. See, there it is. It's nice and flush. And we're ready for the next step of the process.